Okay, so let's begin by creating high field map that we're going to use it later. And to do them, I will use it Earth Explorer USGS.gov website to produce those maps for me. Let's have a different multiple side where you can actually going and create a maps and downloading with different resolution based on this. So for this, on a USGS um, side, you'll notice on the left area, we can put it our coordinates, we can use predefined areas. And I'm selecting something like right there about Yellowstone Park. So we'll go maybe just take this area of the canyon. So sometimes one thing to when you're loading, for example, um, if I want to select this map, we can go to use it, use map selecting, but I'm not necessarily want this wide range. So I'm just going to take these pins and probably relocate them. We kind of more closer area. Maybe a little bit more squarishy. It will still adjust for me the map. And one thing you'll notice it will create, depending on the size of the area, you don't necessarily just take everything in one image. You possibly will get it two, four different on resolution size of the images. So, okay, when we're done right here, next we want to go to data set. So on a data set, this is very important because if you look, we have it all these different type of the maps we can. And even the display right here is options, not so many of them is available maybe for these specific areas. So we need to see, um, apply just that that will work for us. And because we're interested mostly in digital evaluation, so we'll go right here. And again, we have it all these different areas. Some of them will work or some not. One we're interested, it is in Aster Global VM. So this is what we want to get it. Okay, let's go click on the results. And you can see right here, we have a two maps of the result because the size probably cover top and bottom or left and right. If it's more than area cover, you will have a two maps. And we're going to use it, those two maps, but um, I will show you a couple of things when we kind of when we use it multiple maps inside the charging. So for now we're ready. We can go ahead and download it. As you're going to download options, it's mostly ask you format and it says you need to log in. That's one reason why I say you needed to go and register on this website if you want to download it larger size. Okay, when you're done logging in, you can also go ahead and download it. It will ask you from for some um, copyright first time, but next we'll download it. And you can see it's 18 megabyte files. So they're downloading right now as a zip format. And when they're done downloading, we'll go jump inside the Turgeon. 